if I'm considering in participating or starting my own local gym, give me one reason why I should do it. Because you won't be the same afterwards. <laughs> so if you want to challenge yourself, I think, mm -hmm. um, and particularly um, for the government people, if anyone's listening, because that's my crowd, um, I think the jam builds innovators, not innovations. So while the prototypes are amazing and the things we come up with sometimes are taken forward, what it does is it equips you to go and make change in other parts of your life. As Ezekiel said, that could be your personal um, career. It could be just doing your job differently. So I think if you want to be challenged and learn in a way that you've never learned, made some deep connections with people, and go and approach life differently, you should come to the gym. Oh, man. Uh, Paola, you're, you're, you're going to have a hard time adding something. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's start with this again. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doubting <laughs> you should join a gym. Why should I join a gym? Um, I, I think it's the most rewarding experience you can have as a service designer because that's, that's the, the place you learn that, this is for everybody mm -hmm. like everybody can learn from this everybody can mm -hmm. have different ways to think about their problems and how to solve them and i also believe it's like this huge 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 um community that wants you to be part of something and wants you to learn i think the learning part for the hosts is amazing mm. Um, because you get connected to different people from Australia, from Miami, with Adam, with Natasha, with Marcus. Mm, they have so much experience and you just get in a network that you never want to leave. <laughs> Sounds good. SQL, what would you say? Give me one reason why I should jam. Oh my God. Uh, I think coming to the jam will uplift you, inspire you and transform you. <clears throat> That's quite a promise, man, Adam. <laughs> well, you're, you're, you're last in, the, in, the, in line. There's usually food. It's a good reason to go. Food. <laughs> I was waiting for that answer. <laughs> but I, yeah. think, I think um, if you are in your life like I am and you're looking at things around you and you're looking at the way things are done, the way that work days are organized, the way that things are set up in your life and you think there's got to be a better way than this yeah i'm hating this meeting there's got to be a better way this project sucks there's got to be a wet better way my environment my city it's not working completely there's got to be a better way yeah then go to a jam and you'll find a whole bunch of alternatives <laughs> you may hate some of them you may love some of them probably be a mix of those actually um, but you will come out equipped with other ways to approach problem solving and creation in your life. And I think that's mm -hmm. super valuable. Marina Paranetto, another great jammer, she says there are 52 weekends in a year. You know, one of them can be for a jammer.